Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the rust inside your fuel tank. So here we have very interesting motorcycle, Nipper 16, and I just want to show you what's inside. Sorry guys, I forgot the camera today, so I'm filming on my phone, but anyway, I think, wow, that's the heavy rust out there severe rusted it's everywhere so we're gonna remove the fuel tank first and that's gasoline we have here <laughs> uh, it's the most aft part of the fuel tank so I have to remove this hose and yeah now we have gasoline leaking everywhere uh, I'll just clean the engine. So my friends, I have just removed the fuel tank and it's there. Now we're gonna get rid of the rust. I blocked the drain here and I put the crossfit hose on its place and later I'll fill with this uh, rust, 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 rust modifier. Basically that's exit. And also I'll put this uh, bolts and nuts into the fuel tank that will help me to get rid of this rust so let's start little by little so guys we're just gonna close it down and I'll just shake it a little bit yeah you need to shake it and I have these bolts and nuts inside so that will help me to get rid of that rust so guys you are able to see what is happening inside the fuel tank and yeah little by little it is working it is working good and probably you can see that there there's some kind of the bubbles coming so it's chemical reaction probably I need to buy more of this uh, exit and to fill all the fuel tank my friends I filled the fuel tank with the maximum possible level as you can see and here are the bottles that I used also I have this uh, it's like a jet fuel I have like a gasoline so I will leave uh, the fuel tank like this for one night and tomorrow I just clean it with this fuel and after I'll clean it with a simple water and that's all one eternity later so my friends after you drain the exit from the fuel tank you need to pour lots of water inside so make sure you get this water wasted somewhere where it will not be harmful for trees for animals and for you personally because it may still be some chemicals of course now my friends i'm just gonna leave it like this to dry out and let's see what's inside it's pretty much okay i didn't see any corrosion no well, significant corrosion i didn't see anything except this that's the the, the part of the old painting or old primering well actually those parts can block the fuel flow but I don't think it's gonna be very significant for me I like the result guys I like it so we don't have any kind of corrosion it was modified by orthophosphorus exit so it's quite a nice choice uh, and I treat my fuel tank like this for three days three days long 